Well, hi. Uh, as they say in the Muppet movie, we are going to move right along. Uh, we are on chapter seven now. That's one before bankruptcy. Um, and we're just getting about to get into uh, the whole Noah and the Ark and the flood business. So that's where we're going. By the way, I'm a little sniffly. I apologize. I, th it's, I don't think I'm sick. I think it's just I'm allergic to something. Maybe the Bible. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, and the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. So not just him and the animals, his house as well. You could put that thing up and move it on over to the ark. Uh, For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. So he's saying he's noticed. He's been keeping an eye on Noah. Noah's been pretty righteous. So he's like, all right, you get to live. Of every clean beast, so only clean, so if no pigs and no other animals that have been rolling around in anything crappy. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens. I thought it was by twos. By sevens. Maybe like seven pairs at a time so it doesn't get too crowded. There's no fire hazard or anything. Uh, the male and his female. And of beasts that are not clean by two. Oh, so the clean animals, he wants seven of them. But the dirty ones, he only wants two. Because he doesn't want them to reproduce as quickly. Because they'll probably just have dirty children. <clears throat> the male and his female. Of fowls, birds, also of the air by sevens. Um, so he's just assuming they're clean. Uh, the male and the female. To keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. Okay, so want to keep the sperm and the eggs out there for all animals. Um, for yet seven days. He's big on sevens. God is. It's got to be his lucky number. Um, probably plays that as his powerball. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. Okay? Almost a month and a half. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. He seems kind of like a vengeful, violent god. Just from this. he might They might paint him in a better light going forward, but for now, this phase he's going through, he's a little destructive. It's like his terrible twos. Um, ba 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 ba. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. Smart. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of water. He's always got about three hundred years left of life in him. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. So, boom, uh, life wiped out. And Noah went in, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Um, other family members were turned away, given the finger, um, as it were, into the ark uh, because of the waters of the flood, obviously. Uh, of clean, I don't think they just wanted to take a cruise, you know, they probably saw the water coming and that was the reason they got on the ark. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls, I hope none of the, none of the, people on the ark had allergies because that would suck 40 days and 40 nights sneezing your lungs out because there's some dirty cats aboard <sighs> it's no fun um okay so of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth uh there went in two and two of each okay until uh, unto noah into the ark the male and the female as god had commanded noah so he's following all the instructions and it came to pass after seven days, seven, uh, that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. So they get in there, they got on board seven days before the flood. They keep going back and forth in time. They're like, a, it's like a Citizen Kane kind of a, a narrative. Um, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month is very specific. The same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. So the flood came from the oceans and the great deep beneath the land just sort of opened up a big chasm of water. And the windows of heaven were open. So not only is water coming up from below, but we're going to start having some rain from heaven. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, so that is a lot of water. 
in the self same day self same I don't know that word but in the same same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham I'm glad Ham made it he just brightens my day and Japheth the sons of Noah and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them so none of them were gay um, you notice God didn't say bring your sons and your sons husbands or life companions he didn't want to he didn't want to make sure that you know they continue their ways um, not that they're going to reproduce anyway but just to be on the safe side um, and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark they and every beast after his kind and all the cattle after their kind and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth um, after his kind it really goes it kind of shows you what God's view of these other animals was you know calling them creeps and creeping and creepeth and he doesn't really he doesn't like them very much enough to keep them around on the ark but that's it um, and every fowl after his kind every bird of every sort okay and they went in unto Noah into the ark two and two of all flesh uh, didn't we say those already of all flesh maybe that's different wherein is the breath of life so everything that was alive and they went and they that went in went in male and female of all flesh as God had commanded him and the Lord shut him in so once everybody was on board God took hammer and nails boom 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 pounded them in they're set and the flood was 40 days upon the earth good Lord how many times were they just they have like a uh, word quota or something uh, for, the, for their publisher um, and the flood was 40 days upon the earth and the waters increased and bare up the ark and it was lifted above the earth so water is like you know a couple hundred feet above land now and the ark's just sitting up there sitting pretty um, and the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth okay and the ark went upon the face of the waters once again just repeating themselves and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills uh, that were under the whole heaven were covered. So there's no land, no one little lone sheep is going to run up to the top of a hill and, you know, be saved. Everybody's drowned. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail. So I can't remember how many cubit, cubits the, um, the ark was, but the cubits, I, I don't know. I'll have to look that up for next time. Uh, upward did the waters prevail and the mountains were covered so the cubits probably pretty big then if that's enough to cover the mountains and all flesh died that moved upon the earth okay both of fowl although the birds can fly so well probably not for 40 days everybody's got a limit and of cattle and of beast and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man all in whose nostrils were the breath of life so everybody who breathed through their nose um, of all that was in the dry land died. This is a pretty sad chapter. And every living substance was destroyed, which was, a, what's a living substance? Bacteria? Was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cow, oh, he's just referring to living things as substances now. Uh, both man and cattle and the creeping things and the fowl of the heaven. See, the birds are still in heaven. We haven't figured out yet how they uh, moved down to our atmosphere. And they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and that they and they that were with him in the ark. So Noah and the others in the ark, the only ones that were alive. Um, it's like he wrote this for preschoolers. Um, and the waters prevailed upon the earth an hundred and fifty days. Wait. Forty days and forty nights, I thought. Oh, it rained for forty days, forty nights, but the water hung out uh, for a hundred and fifty days. So, you know, a little under half a year, they're on this ark, probably stir-crazy out of their gourds, um... But I guess in chapter 8, we're going to find out what happens once the water finally evaporates up and the hills and the mountains show up again and they can start living normally again. And probably fucking like bunnies because, let's be honest, we need some people again. 
So, uh, yeah, chapter 8 next week. Keep it real.